Hi, it's Sophie for UK Festival Guide and it's the last day of Merth Rocks and I'm here with Spycatcher. How are you all? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah. How did your show go? Are you happy with it? Uh, I had a great time. Good. Yeah, I was happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. You had a reasonable crowd turnout, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we were really lucky actually because you never know, you know, you don't presume anything and uh, yeah, it was brilliant. Really, really good. <laughs> Wicked support. Did There's you... one kid down the front, he didn't know every word. Oh, that's everything. always Which nice. Which is nice. Yeah, bless him. Have you seen him at other festivals? Has he been following you around like I've your not creepy spotted or... him, but uh, he could have been. I don't know. Who knows? Like... Our mystery fan. Is that just the one? Wow. Well, you've got. <laughs> like we say, you don't want to presume too much. Well, that's true. So, did you travel down in the Nova today? Oh, check you out. I've done my research. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. are. We could make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. make it, so we came up in style. Yeah, came up in, in the, uh, oh. the two-litre Ford Focus. Wow, you're moving up in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's, like product, that's product placement. You yeah. can't do that, man. Ford, freebie, if you're listening, yeah. I, get I would like a new car. <laughs> Wouldn't we all? the luxuries have you brought with you today? Do you have a fancy rider going on or anything? I don't think, have we? I haven't seen a rider. We had some someone's eating it. Oh, we got, got, beer. Oh, we we got, got beer. a beer token each. Wow. Uh, we got some food that I think we've missed. Yeah. No, I think, I think well, yeah. then anyway. we're going to go in there and hustle. Do it, you're good at food. that. Yeah. Yeah. Am I good at that? I've How drunk was I when we met? You were a mistake and a half. Brilliant. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Drew the face of Spike Actor. Brilliant. Hey. Are you Drink the party tank, are you? Pardon? Are you the party tank out of the whole group, would you say? No, I just get, I just get called that while everyone else gets drunk. He's oh, a way yeah. alcoholic. It's fact. It's, 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 it's fact. <laughs> Brilliant. It's going to be the new, fa- it's sorry, gonna be the new face of AA. Yeah. <laughs> And what do you bring to the band? What's your? What are you the face of? Moustaches. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This face is fun. Yeah. What about you, Mitch? Are you the sensible one? Or you... I don't know. Am I the sensible one? I suppose no. I am. No, he's handsome, Mitch. Oh, oh, Mitch, yeah. Mitch, he's here to bring in the dates. <laughs> no, he's not sensible. He's just, oh. you know, he's, he's he just he's a really nice guy, sensible. you know. Yeah. But he uh, he sort of loops off and does, is as bad as all of us, except then you know obviously we're a bit more up there, so we get blamed for it all. So he's got the better end of the stick, to be honest. He does a good job. Because you didn't say that to him when you met him again. You didn't go. No, but all I right. Totally off my face the first time. Yeah. So. yeah, you were actually passed out face down on a sofa, and they were trying to make me dance with you the whole time. That is categorically a lie. <laughs> I've got photographic evidence, actually. I, 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 I want to see this. <laughs> I'd believe it. It's going online tomorrow. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, yeah, hell yeah. Okay, okay, back to the music. So festivals, yeah. you played Reading, Heavy and Sonisphere. Yeah. Now, Sonisphere in particular, it's quite a different set of groups that you're playing with. Did you have a sense of winning people over? Was it a challenge or did you have a good crowd there as well? Sonisphere was, yeah, it was cool, it was interesting. Like, obviously, it's a massive metal festival and in the grand scheme of rock, we're kind of at the lighter end of what was going on. But we had a decent turnout and I thought, yeah, it went, I think it went as well as we as we could, seeing as we're still fairly unknown. I thought it was pretty, it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. You've had some great reviews, though, so I guess people have been flocking a bit more since they've seen them try and find out what you're about. And... I think the festivals have been the best kind of testing ground for that, uh, because until then, you don't really know, you know, if people uh, will come out of their own accord. And I think Reading and Leeds was was really kind of comforting to know that people would come actually come and see, especially at like quarter one on a Sunday, yeah, where blue, everyone's blue, like, blue. you know, and that was amazing. And to play that, and there, there to be, you know, people in the tent, and uh, you know, it was incredible. So that was, yeah, doing the festivals was not only a great experience, but also it was nice to know that, you know, people, you know, as opposed to before, people, you know, are listening and, you know, it's all good. Yeah, and um, I know Steve speaks a lot about the problems with there being such scenes and stuff like that. Are you trying to break that down a bit so people actually give you a chance? Because they might think there's indie, there's pop elements in you, they might not want to listen. Do you think? How do you think you can combat that? I think it's not necessarily about like combating anything. It's more a case of just being kind of honest with what you do and like not to sound too kind of cheesy about it, but 
we've all been mates for a long time and we're just playing we've come out of various other bands and we've all been doing we've all been playing together for years and it's just doing what you want to do and that's the kind of the main thing about it it's not contrived and it's not trying to be something it isn't you know it's just what's yeah what, what came out basically you know so yeah i think that's in itself you're impressed with that aren't you? i am i am well it's true that's right that was good. That with that, yeah. Well, no, the last time, <laughs> the last time I tried to do that, I have uh, seen online, and I yeah, it was drunk. kind of you drunk, probably, yeah, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> but I, I said pretty much the same thing in a much, much more roundabout way. So yeah, yeah, well done, mate. Nice. Big up, cheers. <laughs> So, as you said, you were all in different bands before. Did you, when you started, was there any conversation saying, look, we want lots of melodies, you want pop elements, or, like you say, was it just a natural thing that happened? Well, it came, it kind of started off um, with, with Steve just writing some songs, to be honest, and um, uh, me and Steve work at my studio, so there's lots of people coming and going, and Stu was there, and he got on board with it, and then shortly after that... But up, there was a gig, so we played, and it just always kind of brought up out of the fact. That then we had a gig, then we had to find a band, and then we kind of did it out of that, and it kind of grew from quite organically and quite naturally. And it wasn't like a, we're gonna, this is what it's gonna sound like, this is what it's gonna be. It was, yeah, it was, it was just kind of for fun, really, to be honest. And were you on production duties because of your history and what you do outside the band? Did you take the lead on that? Or? Everything we, everything we do and everything we've recorded has been done ourselves. Uh, so me and Steve tend to do a lot of the kind of recording and Steve does a lot of the mixing a lot of other stuff to do with it so yeah we've all to be honest we've always done stuff ourselves ever since we started so I'm not really aware of doing anything differently if you know what I mean so would you find it hard if you had another producer come in like telling you what to do bossing you about or would you be Uh, I think if it was somebody that we all like respected and wanted to work with we'd definitely be open you don't want to be kind of closed off to things and think that you always know best you know there's somebody out there who could who you know likes what we're doing, gets what we're doing, can offer something. Yeah, of course. You know, we're not going to be too. Sort of going, yeah, only only we can do it. No, not at all. Oh, that's good. Okay, and you've also got the rock sound tour coming up with Every Time I Die. Yeah. A lot of people said that's a weird combination as well. Do you, what do you um, think about it? Are you excited? I think when, when we first heard it, we were a bit like, oh, this will be interesting. But then thinking about it, Every Time I Die, it's not it's not a young audience. It's quite, uh, you know. Uh, I don't know, say 20 to 30 audience, so it's going to be a lot of people there. Most people who like Every Time I Die actually quite a lot, quite like a lot of other elements of like you know, hardcore or post hardcore stuff that brackets that we kind of fall into. So I think, and judging by the response we've had on Twitter as well, there's quite a few people coming to see us as well as Every Time I Die. So it's been a pretty a really good response. And will you be showcasing any new tracks? Because I think you've started working on the next album already, uh, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I believe this is what we're going to get up to in October. Start. Uh, <laughs> What are we gonna yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, we're, we're kind of writing from here on now. Like the minute the the album came out, we've been kind of been writing things and getting that together. So yeah, hopefully there'll be some new songs, uh, some ba- some bangers, some yeah. winter bangers, a couple bangers. in the oven at the moment. Yeah. What's yeah. that even well, mean? Well, summer yeah, bangers exactly. anymore? Can the summer's get, over? You want to get with your lady yeah, and lie in front of a log fire, <laughs> curl up with a sheepskin and rug, and spy catcher, <laughs> and make the Spot magic happen? Image. Yeah, spy catcher, producing children everywhere. <laughs> You never use your own music to woo a lady, though, would you? That's a bit oh, wrong, God, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, that'd be disgraceful. You'd never use your own music to woo a lady, would you? Oh, no. I don't, I don't like people would go down too well. No, no, no. It's not romantic, yeah. <laughs> Have a listen to this. It's about how we hate everyone, but I think you're kind of special. <laughs> you're the exception it's, to it's the It's not role. really... Uh, <laughs> it's not about you. That's a test, Drew. <laughs> it's a test. Next time. Next time so it's worry. not about you. Yeah. Free massage? What? No, no, drink a couple of beers. Yeah. Hang out. Party tank and full force, I imagine. Yeah. He's gonna yeah. party and I'm gonna drive his drunk bottom home whilst You're he snores all the way down the M4. <laughs> oh. Okay, sounds good to me. How about you? Um, I don't drink anymore, so I'll be oh, watching you get. Oh, long story, <laughs> won't go there. Um, so yeah, best of luck for okay. the rest of the year and. Um, Keep watching what you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.